First time watching Doctor Who series eight. I just had to make sure this was eight. Episode six, uh, The Caretaker, it is called. Before we get into it though, I have a teeny tiny little question. How are y'all doing? I hope you're doing good. I'm doing good too, by the way. My name's Afan. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> Anyways, let's just get into it. Without any further ado, here we go. As always, hate the BBC logo with a burning passion. It's just too loud, man. There's no way out of this. We're gonna die here. Oh, there's gonna be Simba now. They're gonna do the thing and they're gonna go ding da da ding da. Right? That's no. Why have you got two jackets? Is one of them faulty? <laughs> Start to death out here. The sand piranhas will get us long before that. Nice. Brown. You're very brown. You weren't that brown. Ah, suntan. <laughs> yep. She was out in the desert with Mufasa. Come and see. <laughs> How's you? A bit wet. Freak. Was that seaweed? That's a freak. <gasps> well, it's raining, so that's why she's wet. And also you're here, so that's another reason why she's, a, you know. Don't you hate soldiers? Yeah. He does hate soldiers. Ooh, are they gonna have a clash? There's always so much going on in these shows, like episode to episode, that you kind of forget certain aspects, like the Doctor hates soldiers, which is basically him hating himself, because time war, you know, but, you know. I can do it, of course I can. <laughs> Wait, but don't they have a TARDIS? Can't she just, like, sleep? Rest, you know, all of that, and then go back in time. Oh, you look lovely today. Have you had a wash? <laughs> Finally. There's going to be no trip today. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, what's he hiding from her? I'm being mysterious. I'm a man of mystery. <laughs> Everybody else is stupid. Where are you going? Undercover. He changed the screen. He's very good at fingering. Stealth. <laughs> When's that? When I see you. When I see you. Hmm. Typical girl reply. Hmm. I hate that. <laughs> I was meaning to bring it up. <laughs> no peeking! <laughs> East London. That's uh, Chelsea? Courtney. And good morning, Miss Oswald. Morning, Mr. Pink. Oh! Wait. No, oh, every time I see you, it's like your rush. The space helmet one time. <laughs> Sorry. Canada, USA. Finland or Sweden? Germany? What thing? What's gone? Nothing. India, Jamaica. I'm not stupid, you know. Italy? Mexico? Ireland? <laughs> We've got a newbie. Oh, here he is. Break the soil. And the new Thanks. caretaker, John Smith. Oh, John O. Smithy. Smithine. <laughs> But you know, here's the thing. Most people just call me the dog. Doesn't that guy kind of look like uh, Matt Smith? Ah, I, I mean, he's kind of blurred, so I couldn't really tell, but it kind of gave me Matt Smith vibes. Uh, deep cover. <laughs> deep cover. Did you see those eyebrows? Did he wink at General wink, you know. If he at everybody, it was like a general welcoming wink. Oh. Eyebrows or whatever. So you recognize me then? So he's a doctor, but he's a... <laughs> He's got a broom. Oh my god, is that why you're here? Are there aliens? It's a set yeah, you. Go and something. Are there aliens in this school? Her head's too wide. <laughs> you cannot pass yourself off as a real person among actors. <laughs> That's for a month. Well, uh, sucked. River and I, we had this big fight. Even no way, he didn't. He, he spent that time with the... Well, that was 11th, but you know, it's the same person. With the football and everything. The Craig... Craig... Oh, Craig something. Craig Ferguson. Pretend you don't know me. Stay out of my way. The less you know, the better. I hate you. That's fine. That's a perfectly normal reaction. <laughs> We've got a free period, mate. You want me to cite your names? This is unfair, mate. Always coming. Wait. Even if you have a free period, you're still not allowed to leave the school premises, right? Or is this part of the school? I know, like, universities and colleges have... You know, big campuses, they're intertwined with cities. My college campus was like that too, but schools, really? No point hiding! Do you hear me? Whoa, I made a joke about the Slovenes and their statues. Stop intruder. Turn your game off! Is this a Slovene episode? Stop messing about! Solution, destroy. Dalit! Whoa. 
Is this like an upgraded Dalek? What the hell is that? It's like a crocodile. No, not a crocodile. A crab. <laughs> was caught by Elizabeth and as it assured her that Darcy... Darcy and Elizabeth. It's... I saw Prejudice. This is Pride and Prejudice. I love that movie so much. Turn the channel. Oh. She was so busy. Oh, and I suppose what she was your busy mate was she and you went on holidays together and then you got You jelly? You Sound like you're jelly, bro. No, I read the book. There's a bio at the back. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. What about our homework? You asked for homework. Yeah, exactly. Come on. Almost as if you're a child. Yeah, that guy. I swear he looks like Matt Smith. From English Thursday afternoon. Pakistan! Hey, they got the Pakistani flag up there as well, the French flag. Union Jack. Is that Croatia? Tunisia? Turkey? Katie Sharp says I pulled her hair in biology. Courtney this girl, have I seen her before? Nothing. Oh, Stanley Pink, here's your man, Mr. Smith. Oh, there it is, Pakistan flag again. Oh, no, he looks a bit different now. From afar, when it's blurred, he looks really like... Matt, like, yeah, right now he looks so much like Matt Smith. Sergeant, fully qualified. The thing just flipped. I don't know what it's called in English. I'm a math teacher. But he said you were a soldier. Yeah, I'm not a PE teacher. Sorry, that seems very unlikely. Yeah, you're a soldier. You can think? What? How's that possible? <laughs> I'm a math teacher. No, I can't retain that. <laughs> Pink, the name remind you of anything? Ah, uh, yeah. The color. Orson Pink. Orson Pink. The yeah. At the end of the universe. Yeah, same name. Doesn't look anything like him. Very like him. Yeah, it was the same actor. Come on, dude. That was a PE teacher. <laughs> He's not a PE teacher. The one that you keep going on serious dates with. If it... Oh, he doesn't know. Got this period free. No. Yes. Sorry. What, well, Adrian? And he's got a bow tie. Oh. You see. No, wait, 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 wait. We have to talk about the Tempest. Oh, he thinks that's Australia, or is that New Zealand? One of them. I think it's Australia. He thinks they're dating. Okay. You two kids just off together. <laughs> of its. There it is again. <laughs> oh, lovely. I'm thinking that's on purpose now because he had a bow tie too. <laughs> Because I remember they had a guy. Hey, I said you could play chess. I did not say you could play football. I don't know which episode, but it was with 11th after David. I know he was like in a van or a bus or something. And he looked just like David. He's on to him, eh? He, he, he's realized that there's something going on between Clara and him. Hmm. Hello? Oi. I feel like I've seen her before. But in an effort to not sound racist, <laughs> I didn't want to say. Can't you read the door? It says, keep up. No, it says, go away, human. So you're not a human? Start. Oh, yes, fine, we'll cut along. You're running out of time. For what? For a thing. Oh, he took the towels back? Lovely. So, frankly, we should all be in a permanent state of panic. Ah. Doc. You're weird. Mm. Yes, I am. What about you? Nah, bro. We just vibing out here. Relaxing. What are you doing here? Paper towels. But she didn't take it. The others before me, did they let you get away with this kind of thing? <laughs> it's a scanner. I'm scanning. Why do I keep you around? Because the alternative <laughs> would be developing a conscience of your own. Scanning for what? Any alien to True. I used to have a teacher. Exactly. Like you still do. Pay attention. <laughs> what the hell is it? Skullvox. It's a crab. The deadliest killing machine. Man, shut up. It's a scrab. A scrab bomb. Sooner or later, it will creep from its hidey hole, and some military idiot will try to attack it. The world is full of PE teachers. I was gonna say military idiot. A new watch. Tiny bit disappointed. This is a very special watch. It's the Mango Watch. You know what they say? A mango a day keeps an iMac away. Whoa! Teleportation watch. <laughs> Oh my god, that's incredible! It's like the invisibility cloak. Recognize him. Possibly reminded me of a certain dashing young time traveler. Oh, of course you recognized him. I... Sorry. No, that was on purpose. And you, you like him? Yes, I like him. He thinks it was him. Of course he like. Well, he does hate himself sometimes. Come on. Oh, uh, well, uh, wow. And the whole thing, I completely forgot that that's not even the right guy. So easy. Okay, so there's gonna be a clash. It's gonna be the PE teacher. That's gonna be a problemo. Uh, tomorrow's parents' evening. Not all evening. <laughs> what do you think of it? Uh, who, the, the caretaker? Where'd he come from? What was he before? He doesn't seem like a caretaker. Well, he speaks very highly of you. No, he doesn't. No. Anyway, um, good night, Miss Oswald. Oh, so he realized that they know each other? I mean, they could have been just talking. Because he said he speaks highly of you, you know what I mean? And we're off. 
I thought because he's in the military, maybe he's noticing the fact that he's putting all these devices around. Do you know what I mean? And he's on to him, but uh, I guess not. He just now realized he's doing that. Home sweet home. <laughs> home sweet home. Oh. Oh yeah, cause this this is the same school, right? Where the first one was. So, oh, but it was his home. Let's dance, Doctor. Where are you? Where are you? Hello. Oh, there's the device again. Nine stop blasting data pursue. Bingo. Czech Republic. I, I know that you shouldn't be on this planet, but I can help you with that. Eh? Problem solution destroy. Exterminate. Destroy. It's kind of a Dalek with legs and stuff. <laughs> kind of looks like an owl. It's, da it's a Dalek cosplaying as Hedwig the Owl. <laughs> that some people are actually trying to save the planet. Oh no, there's only room in my head for cross country the offside rule. <laughs> The offside rule is a nightmare to explain to those who don't know football, you know. We'll open you again. 74 hours. Lovely. What to expect? Now it has scanned me and it will kill me on sight. Thanks to P here. Clara, why are you talking to me like that? Mm. Why Rona died? Was that thing a space thing? Yeah. Space thingy. Time Timey wimey. wimey. <laughs> wibbly wobbly. wobbly. You're a space woman. You said you were from Blackpool. Black hole. <laughs> In space. It's a surprise play, and um, you see, the vortex thing is is a lighting effect. Very <laughs> clever, artsy dress. Mm -hmm. Do you think I am? I'm willing to put a number on it. Very. <laughs> I'm not a moron, Clara. Mm. He's not the caretaker. Well, he is taking care of stuff. Your dad. Your space dad. Oh. Yep. Genius. Yeah, let's put a number on it. <laughs> How can you think that I'm her dad when we both look exactly the same age? We do not look the same. <laughs> I was being kind. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks she looks older than him. <laughs> My boyfriend, I thought you'd figured this out. Him? Yes, him. No, he's not. Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, not anymore. I'm your dad. I'm telling you, he's not. It's a mistake. You've made a boyfriend error. I'm not. A PE teacher, I'm a math teacher. You're a soldier. Why would you go out with a soldier? Dog or a big plant? Because I love him. An alien loves you. Did you say that? Is this part of the surprise play? <sighs> there is no surprise play. Oh, it's a roller coaster with you tonight, isn't it? <laughs> it always is. Bow tie. Who, Adrian? No, no, no. He's just a friend and not a guy. <laughs> Laura, are you going to explain to me? Who is this guy? Doctor is the doctor are you an alien no 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 I i'm still from blackpool me and the doctor we travel through time and space exhibit wait but they've been like together like a tardis intimately yeah, a wouldn't box. he know that she's not an alien <laughs> i mean like all the organs are in the right place and look the way they should look <laughs> You said it was coming back. We have to evacuate. Call the army. And that is the most... We did not know this was a school. We were just here to have a party. Yeah. But we need to get help. This is an emergency. Take him away. Shut him up. Shut him down. <laughs> up or down. Turn him off. I've got a lot of work to do. Again. Will you be okay? Well, you two blundered in. So, am, am I just being ignored? Yeah, P. Keep walking. <laughs> I love Danny. Say something. Something. So. M-E-T-H. Come on. Complete it. Don't just say the S-O part. Do you love him? No, not in that way. What other way is there? You know what I mean. I don't know what you mean. What other way is there? Why do you do it? Do you love your dad? Danny? Why do you fly off in the vault? That way. An invisibility watch. Not even a ring. Oh, the ring. I forgot about the ring. How dare I blasphemy. That ring makes you invisible as well, right? The ring. You haven't brought Dave with you, I hope. Dan. <laughs> 24 hours, even longer, people keep talking to me, so do keep going. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Because you said the Quanadam was unstable. If you want to bother someone, go and bother P.E. <laughs> P.E.? He's a maths teacher. <laughs> yeah, sure, he wishes he was. <laughs> Let's go somewhere fun. What do you say? Do you want to see the Thames frozen over? Oh, those frost fairs. <laughs> Has he realized he's here? We always do on your things. Just make sure you don't get yourself a tan or anything or lose a limb. Oh, I don't think we should, not this time. I think he's realized he's here. Not even the middle of dinner. Remember when you had to eat two meals in a row? Yep. He knows he's here. He already knows. Yeah. 
<laughs> Time Lord might have known. Well, the accent's good, but you can always spot the aristocracy. Mm -hmm. Time Lords, do you salute those? Definitely not. Sir! Do not call me sir. As you wish, sir! You can get out of my oh, immediately, sir! I'm a soldier. He's an officer. I I'm the one who carries you out of the fire. He's the one who lights it. Right. I'm dismissed. <laughs> yes, you are! There it is. That's who he is. He's hiding who he has forgotten. He's not even the 12th. He's 13. That's how much of a lie he is. It's a time machine. It also travels in space. And it usually <laughs> contains a man. So that's really a spaceship? <laughs> I'm serious. I'm trying to save this planet. End of the world for me tonight. Whatever you do, parents' evening. <laughs> Courtney Woods, can I go in space? AKA Disruptive in Woods. <laughs> Is back. Oh, no, no. Yes, I'm afraid Courtney is a disruptive influence. Yeah, but. <laughs> Very disruptive influence. Disruptive so I suppose that counts influence. as an improvement. Yeah. Excuse me, I think the caretaker Sorry. won't. Dude, what about my Angelina? Man, f your Angelina. <laughs> Courtney was right about those two. <laughs> It'll kill them all. We've got to evacuate. Shut up! I feel so bad for Dan. <laughs> He's trying to be reasonable. Whoa, well, it just hit me. Pride and prejudice. Doctor's prejudice towards this dude and his own pride. Wow. Pre-existing Judas's. <laughs> Disengaged scan. Hedwig's back. Well, it really does look like an owl, you know. Whoa. Was that a... The, does Maserati have a flag? Orders, orders. To you. Listen to superior. Mm. Time distracted car. Hey, what can I do? Flash. That normally works on me. Let's go, PE. Artificer, stop. Confirm. Override. Final input code. Call accepted. So you don't, don't all that backflips and all that shit just to go over him. I thought he was gonna kick him or something. Uh. Oh my god. Yeah, I was okay, wasn't I? <laughs> I guess you distract him, which is what he wanted him to do. Still got the watch? Oh, it's in this end. <laughs> you okay? Okay. P. Okay. Okay, Dave. <laughs> I need to be good enough for you. That's why his hands in case I'm not. He's being the big bro or the dad or whatever. He did just save the whole world. <laughs> yeah, good start. You're smiling, he's starting to like him, eh? Farewell, Scobot Bliss. A hundred million inhabited planets. <laughs> ah, yes, there's been a spillage. Lovely. So you doing things you never thought you could. I saw you tonight. You did exactly what he told you. You weren't even scared. Mm-hmm. And you should have been. If he ever pushes you too far, I want you to tell me because I know what that's like. It's a deal. No. It's a promise. Okay, I promise. Pinky promise? If you don't tell me the truth, I can't help you. I could never stand not being able to help you. We clear. Crystal. We're clear. It's funny, you know, you guys say pinky promise. But where I come from, doing this means the opposite. Like kids, when they don't want to be friends anymore, they do this. Because they can't talk to each other, so this is like a sign, like, we're done. <laughs> it also means I want to be. I don't remember how I got away. Well, I was coming to that. I'm afraid you really rather didn't. This is the afterlife. I was going to say, this is Missy Land, the promised land. Where am I? The promised land. The promised the land. Netherlands. Netherlands. That's Missy. Yeah. Sorry, she's a bit uh, busy today. Oh, she does not look too happy. No, 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 stop it. The next time can... Oh, we'll watch it, just not now. You guys, however, all of you with the TARDIS, obviously, can go forward in time and see it right now on my Patreon. Also, full length reactions are there as well. Check it out. So, interesting episode. The clash between the Doctor and the Soldier. This is something that we have known for quite a while now. He does not like soldiers. This is nothing new. No, no. But like I said, you know, there's so much going on from episode to episode because the stories change. He kind of forget that Dan and Doctor should really be clashing. I, I mean, they finally addressed it, so that's great. But yeah, it was bound to happen. 
the doctor so we have we do know this from previous episodes especially the specials that the doctor doesn't like soldiers because of the time war and what he did and what he holds himself for basically committing a genocide you know and so obviously you wouldn't want to think about that either even if it is or was the only option at the time so in a way if you think about it he sees himself so because the reason why i say this he sees himself when he sees dan so the reason why i say that is because he saw himself in that other teacher which he thought looked like his previous incarnation you know he even mentioned it like matt smith you know <laughs> and it all makes sense now he's like oh yes of course that's why he said it of course it would be me because i'm perfect oh you little uh but yeah i suppose clara did have uh some sort of feelings towards um 11th or 12th or whatever at this point who knows which number is what but um it was an interesting little episode. It was. Uh, it had a lot going on. It had the clash between Clara and Dan, but also the clash between Dan and Clara, and then the clash between Clara and uh, Doctor, Doctor and Dan. It had the clash between Dan and Clara, and then Clara and Doctor, and then Doctor and Dan, and you know, like a little triangle. And eventually, they uh, sort of figure it all out. And in a way, if you think about it, you know, Dan is to Clara what Clara is to the Doctor. You know, that that person that sort of brings him back. Even he mentions it explicitly there at the end. If it goes too far, let me know so I can bring you back, so I can help you. And that's what Clara does with the Doctor, right? The Doctor can go off. You know, a bit far sometimes, and Clara is the one who sort of drags him back, and uh, it's quite interesting. But yeah, I'm not entirely sure about this. I mentioned this during the reaction as well. But why is she always tired and always in a rush? Why can't she just sleep like proper in the TARDIS, like Amy used to, and then come back in time after she has rested and meet with Dan? You know, so on and so forth. Also, I believe I mentioned that calories consumed in the TARDIS don't count. So the having two meals in a row, I guess, doesn't really matter because one was in the real world and one the other one was in TARDIS, so TARDIS one didn't matter. <sighs> I don't know, man. I'm confused. Yeah, and then there at the end, Clara, I mean, uh, Missy looked a bit Missy, a bit uh, angry. She's not like that. Well, the first time we saw her, she was very jolly and happy and, you know, whatever that means that. <laughs> She wasn't in this one, so has the doctor done something to make her upset? Because she has commented before saying the doctor is her BF. Yeah, it's funny that uh, Dan actually mentioned that uh, the doctor was kind of her dad, because I mentioned in the previous few, few episodes as well that dynamic has shifted a bit. You know, you couldn't have said that with her and Matt. Not because he's older and she uh, Matt wasn't, but because, you know, they actually, the, the, the actual relationship felt a bit different now. I said, like, they kind of look like siblings, like an older brother, younger sister sort of vibe, which is perfect. Like I said, he called her her dad because older brother can at times become your dad, uh, depending on how your life turns out to be. Yeah. Happy thoughts. Hey, happy thoughts. Anyways, so I suppose Dan is now going to be part of this team. He's kind of like the Rory of this, but it would seem well he's the rory if rory was actually confident and able to stand up for himself you know it would seem that way at least well, well yeah i'm looking forward to seeing how these three go on about their journey but yeah what is interesting the the villain like i barely even talked about the villain like what the hell was that supposed to be like i don't, I don't even know man. Uh, it was kind of meh you know whatever <laughs> But yeah, interesting episode overall. Not the best so far. We've definitely had better episodes before these, this one. Uh, but still entertaining, wacky, you know, this, that, and the other. But yeah, do let me know what your thoughts were on this one. Because there, there are some topics that are a bit deep, you know, deep in it. Like Doctor being soldier and hating himself is why he hates Dan. Dan recognizing a soldier, soldier recognizing soldier, you know, that sort of thing. Doctor being an officer, because let's be honest, he would have been. He wouldn't have been a foot soldier like Dan was. Um, the effect that the Doctor has on Clara, Clara then needing help, Dan being there to provide that support, the same support that Clara provides the Doctor, so on and so forth. You get the point. Let's talk in the comments down below. And yeah, if you want to see the next episode right now, you can on my Patreon. Also, so, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on the next uh, video. You know, speaking of the next video, that's when I will see you. So, yeah, until then, have a nice.